Surgical options for breast cancer include lumpectomy and mastectomy. Lumpectomy involves removal just of a portion of the breast, including the breast cancer, and then a rim of normal tissue around it. That typically is reserved for smaller tumors. It can be used for larger tumors after the patient has received chemotherapy first if the tumor shrinks appropriately and the patient desires to have that operation. That operation is decided upon by the patient after a lengthy discussion with me and with the patient in review of her particular radiologic and pathologic findings. After lumpectomy, most patients will receive radiation therapy. The radiation therapy, in addition to lumpectomy, makes the cure rate just as good as a mastectomy, which is why we offer that option. There are occasional patients who do not need to have radiation therapy after lumpectomy, and that's determined after discussion with our radiation oncology colleagues at the Cancer Center. In addition to the lumpectomy, at that time of surgery, if it is an invasive breast cancer, we will also perform a sentinel node biopsy in most cases. That involves injection of radioactive dye as well as occasionally blue colored dye to the breast tissue. That dye then travels to the lymph nodes in the armpit and lets us know which ones are the ones that need to be evaluated for possible spread of the breast cancer. This allows us to do a lesser operation and not remove all of the lymph nodes as we had done in the past and hopefully in most cases allows the patient to return to normal function faster with less risk of problems in the future such as swelling of the arm.